Hello everyone, Dokiller here, and welcome to another random Minecraft video in Minecraft 1.8 with the dog mod as usual. And I'm also in another mod that I wrote a very long time ago and abandoned, but I have just now found another use for. Anyway, let's check out what's going on here. As you can see, I'm in a pirate ship, and I am broadsides with another pirate ship, and we've got a bit of a battle going on here. And if you if we go up to the crow's nest here, we can see that it's even worse. So here we are in the crow's nest. We are in Auton infested waters, and as you can see, this other pirate ship is filled with zombie pirates. Yeah, so this is this is terrible. So fortunately, I have got my cannons down below decks, and we can start fighting back at the other ship. Ah. Okay then, let's fire at them. Ah. And then let's do even more damage with this. Ah, falling down the ladder. Take that, you zombies. That should get him. Okay, guys, so what I've got going on here is a rather simple system. And, yeah, that's a lot of blast. Okay, so if I go down here, I've got these command blocks hooked up to these, uh, or these command blocks are just below these dispensers, or as we say in pirate speak, cannons. And these command blocks are going to be powered by the lever on the dispenser. And if we go into the command here, we are using the summon command, and we are summoning the DM explosive bobble entity, EX bobble. And so we are going to be summoning that relative to the command block. We're going to summon it a block above the command block, and then a block out on the negative Z axis. So that is the direction towards the other pirate ship, the negative Z. And so the reason I'm not just summoning this above the command block is when it was when it's summoned, it will collide immediately with that dispenser above it and blow up on the spot. So we need to put it out in front of the dispenser by a block so that that doesn't happen. And so when we do that, it looks like the, the projectile is coming out of the cannon or the dispenser, as you can see from the ship across from us. So once we've summoned that in, we are going to need to open and close some curly brackets and put in this value. And that is the motion tag. And then we need to summon it with a specific motion. So. You can see with this one, we are summoning it with a 0.8 value for the y-axis and a negative 1.5 on the z-axis. So obviously negative z, that's because we are heading in the negative z direction towards the other ship. And how this works, it's sort of like what I was taught in physics class with vectors. So we've got a kind of a vector, or this projectile is being summoned, and it's going to be wanting to move in the up direction by a value of 0.8. But it's also going to want to move horizontally in the negative z direction by 1.5. And so if you add these vectors together, you're going to get the projectile that wants to go up a little bit, but it's going to want to go out in the negative z direction even further, because this value is stronger. So you can just, like in physics class, you just kind of add the vectors together to get its trajectory. And just kind of physics in Minecraft, which is pretty cool. But you can mess around with these values until you get the projectile to go where you want it to. And yeah, these this should be all you need to launch the projectile quote-unquote, out of the cannon. So, if I get into the right angle here, you can see that this one, I'm aiming to land above the ship on top of the, on the upper deck here. On these other ones, I've got it so that it goes straight across, and it hits the zombies that are firing the cannons that are on the uh, middle deck here. So if I, if I messed around with this value even more, I could probably get it to just go like right at the waterline, or even l let me take this out. Yeah, that's a bit too low. Yeah, but uh, you can just play around and see where you want it to hit. So that's hitting just a little bit below the waterline. If I raise that a bit, it's going to hit a bit higher, more on towards the cannons, more by the uh, zombies that are inside the ship there. And so the other thing that I am doing with this is I have these fire charges in some of these. 
So if you want to get up on top of the dispenser, you can run the block data command. And you'll see that I am placing in an item, the fire charge item, with a count of negative one. So it's going to place a cannonball in here. I'll put this command in the description. You can just take this, put it in the command block, put the command block right above the dispenser. And all this does is it gives you a negative one count fire charge or cannonball, as it's called in pirate speak, into the dispenser. This way, when you run the, uh, the this this command block in the dispenser, it will fire out a little fireball that will go at the other ship. Now, sorry about all the explosions. Now, I've got a uh, fire tick turned off, so it's not burning the ship down or anything, but the fire sticks around, and I think it's a, it's a pretty nice detail, pretty neat detail to have. But obviously, if I were to change my game rule and turn fire tick on, the entire ship would start burning away. The other nice thing about this is that the projectiles don't blow anything up. They do entity damage, they can harm entities, but they don't actually blow up any blocks. So this is kind of a non-destructive way of just having, you know, if you want to fight everybody but you don't want to destroy your build, this is a nice way of doing it. And yeah, it does a fair bit of damage. If we look, we can see that it will actually kill some of the mobs in there. As you can see, so... Then we've got this one here, and this one's even more powerful. Now, this projectile acts a bit differently, but if we fire that, we can see that we can really kill a lot of zombies in there. So, how we're summoning this? We are summoning the Dalek Mod DM Rocket to the exact same place relative to the command block, and its motion is a bit different. So, the when this rocket entity is fired, it, it, it acts a bit differently, so we actually need to uh, turn down the y vector by quite a bit so I've got it actually just 0 .0, 0 0.1 here and I've got it going out a fair bit on the negative z-axis so if I wanted this to go faster I could just up that a bit as you can see it's now launching even faster if I want it to go higher I can just raise this value and now it's going a, a fair bit higher so just you can play around with the values until you get it to go exactly where you want it to so now it's going really fast if I turn that up. But yeah, you, it, it's just really easy to uh, mess around with the values to get the projectile to go where you want it to, at the speed you want it to, everything else. And as I said, it's simple physics in Minecraft. It, it really is. You can mathematically calculate how this projectile is going to fly. But this this rocket entity, this is uh, what, what 1WTC uses. And uh, I'm not sure. I think there might be a give command... So the Dalek mod, I think it's the uh, black box, but you can't actually give it to yourself in-game. Um, on WTC, the creator of the Dalek mod has made it so that only he can have this item, but using this command, we can actually bypass the black box, turn this command block and dispenser combo into our black box, and we can launch that projectile anyway. So, I don't recommend using this on other players, but if you just want to play around with it. It's just a fun thing to use. I think it does a fair bit more damage than the explosive bobbles do. And yeah, that's everything I wanted to show you guys in this video. So I'm sure there are, are a lot of applications for this other than in pirate ships, but I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this. I can imagine a lot of stuff that you can do with these commands and just launching at mobs, making cannons and things like that. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think of this video, guys, in a comment. I love feedback. Um, and if you liked this video, do leave a like. And I will see you all in the next video. So goodbye for now, everyone.